tell us um, what was your very first experience uh, getting into acting and and what made you want to pursue it as a career? You know, it's funny. I started when I was a little kid uh, in New York. I was uh, I was five years old, 1983. It's when I got my first agent. I've had an agent since 1983, which is crazy. Wow. Not the same agent, <laughs> not the same agent. I've moved agencies. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I've been doing it since I was in diapers, basically. I, I, I remember one of my earliest jobs was I did a lot of like modeling, like I would, I would model kids clothes, whether it was for a catalog for a department store, or I remember doing it on air for like a local morning show here in New York, you know, where I would come out with other kids and we were wearing the new, you know, the new seasons back to school clothes. I remember doing that. I did a lot of extra work when I was a kid. Uh, you know, I was an extra here in New York. I was an extra in Sea of Love, uh, the Al Pacino movie. Oh, wow. Nine and a half week, nine and a half weeks. I was oh, an my. extra in uh, <laughs> the flamingo, the flamingo kid. I was an extra. In. So I did a lot of like extra work. That was sort of my introduction to the the TV and film industry. But then I'd say the moment that I knew for me that I wanted to pursue this as a career uh, was when I did uh, my first play on Broadway. I did it in uh, 1991. Um, and it was just the most fulfilling experience. And, you know, it was crazy because it also, you know, doing a, a play, especially, the, you know, the play was successful. So we did it for quite a long run. There was a real sort of, you know, oh, this is my job component. Not like showing up to do a day of modeling or to do a two day commercial shoot. This was like, I showed up at the same place every day for a year. It felt like real work. And to have that audience feedback, it was just all so amazing. And I was like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Um, wow. The problem with learning that at that age was, you know, when I was 18 years old and I was in a lull in my career, <laughs> I was like, wait, what do I do now? What happens if I'm not always working? Uh, am I, should I be learning something else or studying something else? Fortunately, before I had to answer the question, I did get another job, moved to LA and American Pie happened soon after. So, <laughs> so right, right. I was very, very lucky in that sense. Yeah. Because I still don't know what I would do if I wasn't doing this. Still have no idea. 